Today, I've built 36 all-time college basketball teams and put each program onto this map. After a series of single elimination matchups set up by this wheel and compass, we'll have just one school left standing. If at any point in the video a team wins three games, they'll have access to this transfer portal wheel and add one random international or high school superstar. Let me know in the comments section right now. Put your stamp on which school you believe will last the longest and win this whole thing. Now, without further ado, Let's do this thing! Our first matchup featured two OG-laden squads, George Mikan and DePaul challenging Isaiah Thomas 1.0 and Indiana. In a fairly shocking result out the gates, Terry Cummings led the way as the Blue Demons dominated. We'd have another challenger travel out of state as Wes Unseld and the Louisville Cardinals attempted to knock off Derrick Rose, Penny Hardaway, and the Memphis Tigers. And, uh, yeah, mission accomplished, Louisville, uh, um, by, by a lot. Is that 40? Is, is that a 40-point win? It's a 40-point win. Win. That that was that was not close, Memphis. Oh, oh, D Donovan Mitchell and Montrez Harrell were actually leading the way. Wes is just he's just the figurehead, the old man. Oh, fair enough. I assumed when the wheel spun us Gonzaga, we'd have a battle against Washington, but instead they travel to take on Cal. Oh, baby, here we go. Here we go. Ignore the fact that Cal is in a uh, Sacramento Kings jerseys. It it just is what it is. They are in their home whites. Demonis Sabonis for Gonzaga on the road. Why is he kicking that out? Wait a minute, Chet Holmgren's open hand out. Oh, and down, yes, like Mark Jackson told us. That's a huge shot. Our first clutch finish of the video. It is a good one, man. Three-point game. Jalen Brown handling Phil Chainier. He's an OG. He can shoot the... Oh, big rebound. Sharif Abdul-Rahim, former Vancouver Grizzly. Wait a minute. Wait, Jalen puts it up. He didn't have to. There's still three seconds left. Sharif on the glass again. Jason Kidd wide open, and he misses. Wow. I, I mean, Cal, you had your shot. We'd continue with the out-of-state battles as Tim Duncan and Wake Forest challenge Georgetown and their 9 million Hall of Fame bigs. Ultimately, though, it was their Hall of Fame two guard, Allen Iverson, who led the way in a Hoyas W. UNLV was up next, traveling northwest to take on UW, our second game to come right down to the wire. And the Huskies do have a one point lead. They've got Isaiah Thomas 2.0 uh, uh, out there on the floor. I think he might be the best or second best overall Husky. That defense isn't great, though, brother. I can't even lie, UW. I I'm close to them proximity wise. I am rooting for them. I want to see them come up clutch. They're got they've got Brandon. Brandon Roy out there. Nah, they're going to IT. Pulling up mid-range and he bricked it, dude. Okay, I, I want to be critical going to IT instead of Brandon Roy in the clutch, but uh, young Isaiah had 41 and 7, so I guess fair enough. We'd head back out east to the Big Apple, although Syracuse doubled back across the Great Lakes to challenge Michigan State. I had high hopes for a prime college medal run in this video, but uh, instead, Magic Johnson, Jason Richardson, well, they ruined the fun as the Spartans ran away with. DePaul was our first school with a chance to win their second game, taking on their in-state Illinois rivals, and their magic indeed continued, surviving for a two-point win, definitely a Cinderella run in the works. With one quick and painless outing, we'd settle the state of Texas, as Kevin Durant's 20 points weren't enough, Hakeem a strong double-double in a Houston dub, and finally, the first true blue heavyweight team to appear in the video, Kentucky, taking on Louisville. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. hold on, wait, a what? What? Wait a minute. Okay. Th dude, that got way too close. I mean, respect to Louisville. It's not, I I'm not rooting against them. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Is this about to get crazy? Demarcus Cousins is playing small for K Kentucky needs to figure some stuff out here with their rotation. This game should not have been this close. Just calm down. Hey, friends. Real quick, just wanted to shout out my sponsor, Underdog Fantasy. Every night, every sport, Underdog has action you can get in on to enhance your sports watching. I mean, with certain scorchers, you could earn $100 times your money in a night. What? Obviously, no pressure from me, guys, but if you were considering diving into Underdog, why not support me and my channel? Use code JCAN, link, and more info is down below. Okay, I'll shut up now. Our longest distance matchup to date, Shaq and LSU heading way up north to take on Kevin McHale in Minnesota. The Tigers made that trip worth it, walking out with a 15-point victory. The second team with a shot at a second W was Michigan State, as Ray Allen and UConn challenged them in the Northeast. Oh my word, and here we go, Michigan Michigan State is, uh, well, they're tied. 13 seconds left. For some reason, this is a neutral site game playing in Minnesota. Uh, don't ask questions. Wait, who is this? Which Smith is handling the ball right now? Where's Magic Johnson? Oh my gosh. Okay. Uh, Smith, a small forward, a star. I have no clue. Puts it up. And he wins the game. Of course, he would hit the game winner. Hold on, man. Oh, I'm such a casual. It was Steve Smith with the dagger. Wait, please allow me to chill, though. Please. I just, uh, that, that might not be the dagger. 0.4 seconds left. Can the UConn AI? Ray Allen's wide open. Pass him the ball, Cliff Robinson. Oh. 
Oh, I think it's too late. Dang it. It probably wouldn't have mattered. Okay. Wow. What a finish. Things got very interesting. When following that Spartans dub, the wheel gave us Michigan setting up an in-state battle as well. Michigan State the chance for their third win of the video. Unfortunately, because of an unforeseen uh, snowstorm in the state of Michigan, this game once again is being played in Minnesota where, where there definitely would also be snow if that was the case. I, I don't know why this happens. 2K be crazy. Michigan versus Michigan State. Can it be? Michigan State, you are this close to adding a legend if you... Oh, there it is. There, uh, the Fab Five is choking. No, say it ain't so. Michigan was in control of this game, basically wire to wire until late in the fourth. I, I, I can't make that up. Chris Weber and the boys coming up short. Campy or Cassie Russell? Okay, that could be a big three. It is Campy Russell. Gosh, I'm such a casual. But I think that might do it. Magic hit both free throws. Michigan, the Wolverines out of timeouts. They're, they're not going to advance this ball with any urgency. Chris Weber's going to pull up. Uh, game over. Wow. Uh, wow. Magic Johnson, 32, 11, and 10 for his Michigan State Spartans, who have now won three games in a row, indicating to me they're a very good team. And they're only going to get better as they get to spin the transfer portal wheel. There are, I believe, 20 names on here, international or straight out. Okay, well, that's one of the best ones, Giannis. And tell me Giannis wasn't destined to wear green and white. Michigan State, a perfect transfer portal spin. Uh, the only one they get in this video, by the way, a one-time thing for winning three games in the video. We still have 24 teams on the wheel, but uh, with that move and all the territory, I would say Michigan State is a favorite. We're back to LSU, though, their second shot at a win. Which direction will Shaq and the boys be going? A very legendary team, LSU. Uh, okay. Oh, that is beautiful. From LSU OG territory heading northwest is into Houston to take all Shaq versus Hakeem. Let's do oh. it. No, this was supposed to be a good game. Both these teams have sick Hall of Fame trios. Shaq, Pete Maravich, Bob uh, Bob Pettit for LSU, Elvin Hayes, Hakeem, and Clyde for Houston. Uh, we can see which one was greater in this game. Ew, Shaq, nine, po nine points, two re He only played 20 minutes, though. That's kind of crazy. I would have given him more shots, more minutes, but that's just me. Houston with some nice expansion in both the north and the south of our map. Meanwhile, DePaul had a chance for their third win as Oklahoma and Invaded. This time led by Mark Aguirre, who had a near triple double. DePaul once again walked away with a win. I'm pretty sure I called DePaul a Cinderella run a, a little bit earlier in the video. They've won three games now, and they're only going to get better. Oh, Kawhi Leonard. That's kind of a DePaul ad. You know, because like, uh, like whoever thinks about DePaul University, Kawhi, very quiet. Um, I, I don't know. Maybe there's a connection. He becomes their best player. Uh, maybe their run will continue. Our run would continue with another second timer in Georgetown, roping Villa. Villanova into the video and uh, with relative ease, Jalen Brunson would outduel Allen Iverson as Nova advanced. We took an unconventional route to figuring out the Pacific Northwest, but in a real nail biter, we've got a tie game. You and LV Gonzaga, Sean Marion controlling up top, working on Adam Morrison. Would a matchup matrix inside? What? No way he made that over Chet. Are you serious, Sean? That was amazing. I am playing with the same sliders game difficulty watching these games that I always do, but I feel like I've seen so many more clutch shots. That was impressive. The only thing wrong with that Marion shot was he left a lot of time on the clock. Why I thought Chet was making that. I can't lie. We'd get a winner takes all matchup for the state of Georgia. Stefan Marbury put on a show with 26 points in a Yellow Jackets win. Our second true blue heavyweight entered the video. Duke narrowly avoided a few gigantic matchups instead would take on Cincinnati. But ladies and gentlemen, there's a reason why we play, well, simulate, but actually let the games play out. This is not a drill. We have a tie game, 40 seconds left. I don't know how. Cincinnati, they have Oscar Robertson. I don't know who else is on their roster. Kyrie getting a bucket. Big O Oscar Robertson. That was the only reason I thought Cincinnati could compete in this video. He's not on the floor. Duke gets a big time stop. Ah. Cincinnati has now subbed in Oscar Robertson. My might be too little too late, man. Why was he not out there on the uh, on the previous possession? He might have been able to find a better shot for Kenyon Martin instead of wait a minute. Yeah, right there. Lance Stevenson wide. Okay, well, Lance bricked anyways. It got a little bit hairy down the stretch, but Duke was able to hold on. Kyrie leading the way with 18. The wheel just loves DePaul today. Uh, uh, unfortunately, this time they were sent into Kentucky. Um, let, let, mm, let me just amend my statement. Unfortunately for Kentucky, DePaul was sent into their territory. I, I don't know what's going on, dude. DePaul, a true Cinderella story, goes into Kentucky, who fails on the biggest stage, man. That's, that's, that is unfortunate. 
unfortunately not shocking. I'm, I'm sorry, Kentucky fans. Your boys did it again. Just shut up, shut up, shut up, shut it up, up, up. No, but seriously, what is going- the, the wheel was out of control. Spinning to Paul once again, the compass sending him southeast into Kansas. Dude, another what I'm calling true blue heavyweight in this video. Wilt Chamberlain, Joel Embiid, Paul P Kansas obviously is a mate. DePaul, I, I, if they win this, but also if they lose, I, I don't know what's going to shock me more right now. It is a one point game entering the fourth quarter. I cannot, even with Kawhi Leonard added, I cannot believe what I'm seeing. Unfortunately, it was Andrew Wiggins of all people who'd finally put a stop to our fun. Man, for content purposes, obviously I love DePaul as a Cinderella story, but also it was really beginning to make me question the simulation on 2K. I mean, I always question it to begin with, but it can't, Kansas much better. There you go. Like I said, man, Wiggins 27, 10, and 6. He was big time. And poor one out for George Mike, and he tried carrying the squad. Kawhi was just not great, man. Didn't help. The state of Arizona was up next on the chopping block. The script writers were cooking as James Harden led the Sun Devils to glory in a tight finish. Tough entry to the video for Charles Barkley and Auburn, who were sent into Kansas territory. Now, Chuck did post a double-double, but so did Joel Embiid on the other side as the Jayhawks took. Marquette was welcome to the video with a matchup against Houston, the Cougars on the prowl for their third win, and Jimmy Butler, D-Wade, they were no competition, as the U of H did indeed notch another, which of course earns them a transfer portal wheel spin, which will allow them to add uh, another Hall of Famer. Wait, is Sean Kemp? I, what, I'm such a casual. I should have gone with my initial instinct. No, Sean Kemp is not a Hall of Famer, but you know, it's close. He was great. Anyway, Sean Kemp, I think the lowest overall player I have on our transfer wheel, but still a 91 overall. He's a bit redundant for this roster. A uh, Sean Kemp was actually supposed to go to Kentucky, never played there, entered the NBA straight out of high school. Yes, these are all facts that I was just reminded of from his basketball reference page. Let me cook, please. Somewhere deep down in my memory bank, I, I did actually know that fact about Sean Kemp. We have only 13 teams left on the wheel. UNLV, uh, this will be for their third win. There's definitely still a couple schools we've yet to see, but uh, that's how imperialism videos always go. So, uh, oh, speaking of which, UNLV heading southeast into UCLA Bruins territory. Um, good. Good luck running Rebels. I don't think you're getting your third win. Yeah, I know I sounded like a professional hater right there. UNLV has been good two wins, but like UCLA is that team, pal. I don't like, I I, I kind of don't see them losing in this video. It, it would be a massive shock. Maybe it'll happen. Unfortunately, I do occasionally no ball. And yes, UCLA ended the running Rebels quest for glory, sad. Michigan State was back up. Their debut with Giannis added to the fold, taking on Villanova. And MSU might just be the school of death. Destiny, they held off a tough Nova squad, their fourth win of the video. We couldn't hold off our inevitable Duke-UNC matchup any longer, as the wheel set it up, importantly giving the Tar Heels home court advantage. I mean, brother, just look, just, just the starting fives. All right, just take it in. Both teams, I, I mean, on paper, with UCLA, probably the best three teams. Maybe that home court advantage is what UNC needs to get over the top. I don't know. As you'd expect with star power to burn on both sides, this was a back and forth offensive battle for about three quarters. But in the fourth quarter, after that back and forth action, it was all UNC. Maybe the home court advantage, maybe it actually played a huge role. I mean, that's a 20 point victory. It wasn't even close in the end and Zion's gonna miss. There you go. Bob McAdoo leading the way in this battle of superstars. There's MJ, there's James Worthy. Yeah, UNC's legit. We are barreling towards a UNC Michigan State battle for Northeast supremacy. But before we get there, we're poised to lose another heavyweight in our next matchup. Dude, the compass is a menace. Sending Kansas across country to UCLA way before anyone thought we'd get this matchup. I mean, Kansas on paper might be able to... Can, can Wilt battle with Kareem? I don't know. This time around, in a true shock to me, home court advantage did not play a role as in their third appearance of the video, Kansas completed the upset. And yeah, with uh, Joel Embiid, Wilt Chamberlain, Paul Pierce, probably one of the top five best rosters in this video. I am still calling it an upset for Kansas. UCLA, the best team by far on paper. Kansas came into their barn. They shut them down. Russ had 27, 15, and 10. Reggie Miller, 21. Kareem was good for the Bruins. Oh my, but Paul Pierce, look at the truth go. 33 points, nine assists. Yep, huge double-double for Wilt. That's great. I mean, not that I'm biased at all. I'm not pulling for Kansas, but uh, I was worried UCLA was gonna run crazy. That result is wild just like that transfer portal wheel spin. Luca. oh my word, as a shooting guard, Luca slides perfectly into Kansas.
Kansas's rotation. I, I, I think they should start Joel and Wilt, but whatever they're doing seems to be working, so fair enough. The Jayhawks' new rotation would immediately be put to the test as Hakeem and Houston challenged them, uh, and it wasn't much of a challenge at all. Wilt and Joel both went over 20 points. Luka added 27 and 10. They might be unbeatable. The curse of taking over so much real estate, however, Kansas was now a huge target. Case in point, a third straight appearance, this time against Harden and Arizona State. Thankfully, James was held in check. No upset this time around. That's five in a row for Embiid in Kansas. With just seven teams left on the wheel, we'd see the debut of USC. Uh, literally no direction for the Trojans to travel to avoid Kansas, and yet another team unable to avoid their fate. A 30-point win for Wilton Company. And it's at this point I'm thankful that earlier in the video, I said the transfer portal wheel spin was a one-time thing because Kansas just won another three games, but uh, I don't think we need to give them any more help, bruh. Like, it's already out of control. Fair point. We'd finally give Kansas a rest as the wheel set up a matchup between Georgia Tech and Michigan State. With another triple-double, Magic Johnson was quick to remind us how dominant the Spartans have been as well this video. Their fifth win. One of two remaining first-timers on the wheel was finally spun. Florida heading north into Michigan State territory. A chance to completely flip this video on its head. Seeing as how dominant Michigan State has been this video, it seems very unlikely, but Florida, I don't know, there's something about a certain swag about their team. Can they pull off the upset late in this video? Oh no, the script writers are cooking, dude, and it's not me. I, I, I don't know why I had a feeling about this. Okay, here we go. Michigan State's fraudulent run might be over. I mean, they're up three. Bradley Beal's pulling up. He's missing, but it was kind of a pass to Joakim. Why did they not shoot a three to tie it? Dude? You see, I know ball, so I wouldn't have said that like USC was going to upset Kansas. Now nah, that's insane. But Florida's roster is kind of on par with Michigan State, other than, you know, Magic and Giannis. Jason Williams for three. <laughs> Jason Williams. I see him in podcasts, YouTube shorts all the time nowadays. Back when he was young, he could really. Hoop. Wow, what a big time freaking shot. Now, Michigan State, uh, do they go to Giannis or Magic and just rush? Well, they should go to Magic because he's got the aforementioned Jason Williams on him. Giannis has a step. He's into the paint. Joakim Noah's not there playing defense. Nobody was. Florida out of timeouts. Bradley Beal just shot a full court. He, he didn't pass the ball. Okay, Florida, you are frauds. I, I can't believe I believed in you. I failed you. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. All-time March Madness imperialism. It's our final four, and it's four heavyweights, including Ohio State, who we have not seen yet. I guess I shouldn't really call them a heavyweight. Uh, they're a pretty good roster from my recollection. Oh, boy. It's actually a tough call where to send them on the map, but going southwest, I, I do think it's into UNC territory from the Ohio State logo. Let's do it, man. Okay. Uh, okay, yes. Ohio State, a very legendary lineup. It's not out of this world, but I, it could compete with UNC. Who knows, man? Uh, okay. Or not. Or not. Yeah, honestly, a 15-point loss. I, I give out 13 points. Yeah, they competed, but, but lost. Our final three now. This is very interesting. UNC, they could go right through to the final, or they could play another game and potentially win their third, getting them an upgrade. Yeah, I did think that was the avenue, and here we go. This is a very important compass spin because they could be playing Michigan State or Kansas. I think they'd fare better against the Spartans. And we're about to see if I know ball. Michigan State, UNC, a chance chance to face Kansas in the final. As I expected, the first quarter of this game was tightly contested, with neither side gaining leverage. The low-scoring effort continued into halftime, where UNC held a three-point lead. Giannis was the leading scorer with 13. The game would finally open up in the third quarter, and not favorably for the Spartans, as UNC point guard Charlie Scott got loose, all leading to an eventual 14-4 Tar Heel run to start the fourth. And from there, UNC never looked back. I, I mean, it was this isn't a blowout. It never was. But just honestly, a masterclass from the Tar Heels. I don't know if they ever uh, trailed in this game. Definitely not substantially. Just a wire to wire strong performance for the win. Giannis ended up being the game's leading scorer with 29. Magic? Um, A pretty weak, uh, honestly, a bad game by his standards. Five assists, five turnovers. And for UNC, like I mentioned, Charlie Scott had a great game. Michael Jordan played a ton of minutes and had a near triple double. Didn't shoot well, but they didn't need him to. UNC honestly couldn't have timed this video better. They stayed out of the action, didn't risk losing, but just won their third game before the championship. The transfer portal wheel is going to give them Yao Ming. Okay. I'm not going to lie to you right now. It would have been epic, poetic, all those things to see like, I don't know, Kobe or LeBron join this team. But uh, in reality, Yao Ming might be the perfect piece they need. Some depth as they go in to compete against Wilt and Joel Embiid. Because yes, that will be our final matchup. Only two teams remain. This spin 
win will be for home court advantage. And it's, man, UNC just coming on late in the video. Kansas came alive in the middle of this video. Looked like the favorite. They've now been joined by UNC. This is going to be epic. Let's go. We just saw UNC's roster a second ago when they added Yao. It's amazing. Uh, Kansas, here's a refresher. Paul Pierce. Will Paul Pierce is a 99. Did I just notice that? Uh, well, whatever. <laughs> they look, yeah, obviously impressive as well. Get your picks in now, ladies and gentlemen. All-time Kansas, all-time UNC. Only one will be left standing on the map. Oh my gosh, and it do not get better than that. We don't need any preamble to this. We're jumping right into the clutch. Paul Pierce pulling up. That was a terrible shot. Kansas is up too. Why is Paul Pierce forcing up looks like that? Okay, I see James Worthy out here. Uh, Bob Magnus. So no Yao on the court to close it out. Fair enough. Vince Carter is not on the floor for UNC. Michael Jordan is. Do they have any three-point shooters? Ah, uh, they don't need it. James Worthy. What? He smoked a mid-range. Yo, Kansas. Kansas. Just, just a good possession here, and this game might be over. Paul Pierce is doing work putting up another contested shot, but he's got it, dude. Paul Pierce does not care that he's got a Joel Embiid, Will Chamberlain, Luka Dodge. Nah, he's taking every shot in the clutch. Uh, MJ was open. Luka with the steal. A oh, ahead to Paul Pierce. What is he doing? What? <laughs> Oh, this is chaos, but that that's probably it. Kansas. I can't even process what you... Michael Jordan was wide open off some terrible pick and roll defense, but Luka recovered for the steal. MJ putting up a three. It's over just like that. Ugly, weird finish to this game. Honestly, encapsulates March Madness, the NCAA tournament. It's never pretty. Anton Jameson is wide open, and uh, that's the final nail that's not put in the coffin. You know what I mean. As I cannot lie to you, it was very well-earned Kansas was dominant throughout the video. UNC made their push late, but it did come up just short in the final game. As after putting 36 all-time college programs onto one map, the only one left standing is indeed the University of Kansas Jayhawks. Congrats to anyone who's happy about that. Honestly, I'm just like, I've used this roster a bit, made a video on my second channel about it, and I'm just glad UCLA didn't run away with it. I cannot lie to you. So uh, a W in my books. Hope you all enjoyed. Check out another video from here on my channel.